As most of you know, iOS 13 is full of great new features like dark mode or that really nice redesigned volume indicator or the ability to have advanced multitasking on the iPad. That's really great. And let's not forget the updated Maps app with the new look around feature. Those items are indeed great. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at five of my favorite iOS 13 sleeper features that fly under the radar. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. The first item on our list is Auto Join Hotspot, and this is a really great feature for those of you who have iPads that only have Wi-Fi. For instance, this base model iPad Pro only comes with Wi-Fi and no cellular connectivity, so when there is no Wi-Fi available, you're met with a message that looks like this when browsing Safari. Fortunately, there is the new Auto Join Hotspot feature. You can find that in Settings, Wi-Fi. So once you enable auto join hotspot, what's going to happen is that whenever your iPad detects that there's no Wi-Fi connectivity, it's going to look for a nearby hotspot. And once it finds it, it's going to auto join that hotspot. And that's going to allow you to get online just like this. And all this happens automatically. So you don't have to go in and manually connect to your hotspot. No, your device will auto join that hotspot. Now let's talk about persistent personal hotspot. I have an iOS 12 device right here that's connected to an iOS 12 personal hotspot. I have an iOS 13 device here connected to an iOS 13 personal hotspot. I'm gonna put both of these devices to sleep, start our timer, and watch what happens thanks to the new persistent personal hotspot feature. You're gonna notice that even after 10 minutes, the iOS 13 device remains connected to the personal hotspot, allowing you to get push notifications and messages all while the device is asleep. So you can see right here that the personal hotspot is still connected after 10 minutes. And of course on our iOS 12 device, no, it's not connected at all. Cursor navigation is a brand new feature that allows you to simply tap and drag your cursor to move it precisely where you want it in the editing view. This is such a good under the radar feature for those of you that edit text on a regular basis with your iPad or with your iPhone. Now, of course, iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 still have the trackpad mode that allows you to move your cursor around that way. But I find that that's less precise than the new cursor navigation in iOS 13. And for iPad OS 13 users, even when you have an external keyboard enabled that disables the software keyboard, you retain the ability to adjust the cursor insertion point with ease. It's far from the flashiest feature, but it's one of my favorite new additions in iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. The new quick path keyboard brings swipe to iOS devices. Now, of course, this isn't the first time we've seen swipe on an iOS device. There are lots of third party swipe keyboards that you can download from the app store. The problem is you have to go into settings, general keyboards, add a new keyboard and then select your keyboard and then tap the globe icon to switch to your keyboard. So a lot of steps you have to go through, but once you finally do get them, some of these third party keyboards are actually pretty cool. Like Swift key works pretty well. But again, these are third party add-ons from companies outside of Apple. But in iOS 13, Apple brings native swipe functionality to the stock default keyboard, just like that. And that's the big thing, it's native, it's built right in. You don't have to add any add-ons. So you can swipe like this between each key and it will spell out words. So it works like other swipe keyboards, except it's built in to iOS. And my final new sleeper feature is the ability to silence unknown callers. This is such a nice feature. So you can find the silence unknown caller switch by going to the settings app and opening the phone section. But before I show you how it works, I'm going to receive a phone call here from a number that I don't know. It's probably a telemarketer or a robocaller. I don't want to answer it, so I'm going to decline it. But that requires me to think about it. And I don't want to do that because I know that I don't want to answer phone calls from unknown numbers. So what I can do is enable the silence unknown caller switch in settings phone. And this makes it so that incoming phone calls from unknown callers are silenced. In fact, it doesn't even present an incoming call screen, which is great. So I've received that call again, but this time notice it just says missed call, no incoming call screen, and it's gonna send that caller to voicemail. So great. 
So ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at five of my favorite sleeper features for iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. Which one is your favorite feature and are there any additional sleeper features that you think should be included on this list? Be sure to like and subscribe if you appreciated this video and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.